why would somebody go to a chatbot to report sexual harassment and not a human or a friend or their own email? People find it really awkward to talk to a human being about harassment. They're not sure if something actually counts as harassment sometimes. They also sometimes aren't sure if they want to escalate something right away and they might want to sit on it for a while. You can talk to this bot and make a detailed log of what's happened and the bot's hopefully asking you questions that you may not think of on your own that HR could ask you down the line. It's actually based on best practices in police interviewing, which is open questions, non-leading questions. It makes sure that you get as much information as possible, information that can be easy to miss, and then puts it on paper. Give me an example of a question that the chatbot might ask me. Were there witnesses? Is there other evidence that you have that this happened? What time and date did this exactly happen? How do you see somebody using it and then bringing it forward? They start their anonymous chat right away. Then they can learn about harassment and discrimination, but more importantly, they can immediately record what happened. It walks you through all the details. Then you get a PDF record that you can keep for yourself. How come you did this? Was there something personal that happened to you? Or is this just more about your, your background? Every woman has stories. Um, some are more severe than others. But I think that there is a realization that we all live in different realities. And um, I think Me Too and Time's Up and these kinds of movements are really showing the world and exposing to the world what these different realities are. Um, and for harassment and the underreporting of harassment at work, um, we wanted to just create a tool that really helps to solve the issue that's part of the solution um, and that empowers people to be able to anonymously and in a secure way report what happened.